Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Friday, March 20th, 2015. This is Texan TV News from Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas, and I am Dalton Wolverton. Today's top story. In campus news, the Office of School Relations will be hosting the final Texan tour of the year on Saturday. During Texan Tour, prospective students from all across the state and the nation come to Tarleton to learn more about all the opportunities they have on campus. The campus preview day will last from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Prospective students will have the chance to tour the campus with a Texan rep, meet the deans of each of the five academic colleges, talk to members of student organizations, and attend small information set sessions about financial aid and living learning communities. Attendees will also get the chance to visit the residence halls on campus and complete their admission application if they choose. Andy Hatcher, a junior agricultural education major and Texan Rep Training Committee member, said that he is excited about the tour, which is projected to be the biggest one ever. He said that he loves knowing that he is the first impression that prospective students see in making their college decision. Hatcher adds that going to Texan Tour is important because potential students get a glimpse of what, is, what it is really like to be at college and that Texan reps are there to help students feel more connected to the Tarleton community, a community that has fun and bleeds purple together. In regional news, The Flash today reports that police from Dublin and De Leon were involved in a drug arrest late Wednesday night. The officers arrested Dracus D. Armstead after he had attempted to flee in a vehicle. Police said that the suspect was holding a large quantity of what appeared to be either cocaine or methamphetamine. Armstead was charged with four different crimes, including the manufacture, delivery, and possession of a controlled substance and evading arrest with a vehicle. Officers Brandon Gale of the Dublin Police Department and Ian Baker of De Leon were involved in the seizure. Also in local news, the Stephenville Empire Tribune reports that the winners of the photography contest, Positively ERAF 2015, have been selected. The contest asked ERAF County residents to submit photos capturing the beauty of ERAF County. This year, more than 100 pictures were submitted. The judges, Julie Lawrence, Mary Waters, and Kurt Magoni, narrowed down the top three photos in three categories based on age. Third grader Michaela Medina won in the under-12 division, eighth grader Jake Bagby won in the over-12 division, and James Terrell won the adult division, followed by Tarleton students Molly Stewart and Claire Wilkinson. On Sunday, the winners will be officially named and awarded on Sunday at 2.30 at the Schoolhouse Stephenville Historical House, where the photos will be on display. And now for today's Texas, national, and international news from the Associated Press. In state news, employees at several Austin businesses have found stickers saying exclusively for white people placed on their windows, sparking an investigation into their origin and condemnation from the mayor. Mayor Steve Alder said that the stickers discovered Wednesday morning were an appalling and offensive display of ignorance in our city. The stickers also say maximum of five colored customers slash colored BOH staff accepted, apparently referring to the back of the house operations at a restaurant. They featured a City of Austin logo and claimed to be sponsored by the City of Austin Contemporary Partition and Restoration Program, though no such program exists. The City Council, the City has said that the use of its logo was unauthorized. Austin is one of the fastest growing cities in the U.S and is confronting increasing questions about economic and racial segregation as real estate prices skyrocket around its urban core. In national news, as California copes with a fourth straight year of drought, Governor Jerry Brown and legislative leaders on Thursday proposed a legislation to accelerate more than $7.5 billion in water spending and urge residents to do their part to conserve. Winter is ending in California without enough snow and rain to replenish reservoirs, offering little relief from a worse drought in a generation. The proposed legislation includes $128 million to ease the dire water shortages in some communities. The financial struggles of unemployed farm workers in the Central Valley and dry conditions that contribute to wildfires. The rest of the funding comes from voter approved bonds, including a $7.5 billion water measure passed in November to speed up water projects that can help communities prepare for future dry years. And now, for today's international news, we turn to the Associated Press. This is AP News Minute. The Islamic State Group is claiming responsibility for the deadly attack on Tunisia's National Museum. The attack killed 23 people, mostly tourists. In Iraq, Kurdish Peshmerga troops are launching an offensive against IS militants. Iraqi forces are also launching a wide-scale attack, battling IS to retake the northern city of Tikrit. The man charged in a shooting rampage in a Phoenix suburb made his first court appearance before a judge on Thursday. His face bruised because police say he struggled with officers while resisting arrest. A small black dog is being called a survivor. 
Local fire department officials in Texas rescued him after they found him stranded on a pond. The man who rescued him says if his owner is not found, he'll adopt him. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press, with AP News Minute. In sports, the Empire Tribune reports that this weekend, the Stephenville Sox Baseball Organization will be hosting the On the Bosque Baseball Tournament at Stephenville City Park. 23 teams divided into three age groups will, com will be competing in the two-day tournament, which begins Saturday at 8 a.m. Four teams from Stephenville are participating. The other teams are visiting from Jacksboro, Gatesville, Waco, Whitney, Mansfield, Fort Worth, Alito, Marble Falls, Abilene, Arlington, and Lubbock. Today's weather is brought to you by weather.com. We have a 70% chance of rain until the early afternoon. For the rest of the day, we can expect to see cloudy skies and the occasional shower with a high of 60 degrees and a low of 52. Tomorrow, we have a 60% chance of rain all day with a high of 65 and a low of 56. On Sunday, we should warm back up to spring temperatures with a high of 74 and a low of 52. Today's broadcast was produced by Macy Raymer, Casey Bergen, and Daniel Houston. You can watch Texan TV News live Monday through Friday at 12.30 p.m. on Northland Cable Channel 9. Don't forget to tell your friends about us and become a fan of Texan TV News on Facebook. I'm Dalton Wolverton. Tune in on Monday for the latest news from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.